Well, hey everybody, and welcome back to another episode of The Canning Nana. So today, I'm gonna to show you one of my favorite things to do with my sprouted seeds. Um, every summer, I sprout these. I do this all winter, too, but in the summer, when it's nice and warm, they sprout so much faster. You saw how fast in my video series, in only five days, we had an entire bag of sprouts, um, and they are delicious. I've been eating them. Um, but I want to show you one of my favorite things to do, and that's make avocado toast. And I've showed you guys how to do this before, but I don't think I've showed you with the sprouts, not in a long time anyway. So I've got a fresh California avocado and some fresh tomatoes. For To me, I love tomatoes, you guys, and tomatoes are the key to the avocado toast for me. Um, good avocado and good tomatoes, you got to have good tomatoes. So the ones in the store, they just don't taste like tomatoes anymore, right? So I had to wait until my garden got going. Um, so I have this heirloom tomato that I just cut up and you'll see that in the picture that I post for the thumbnail. Um, and then I have these little teeny tomatoes coming up and then I have um, some of these. So, um, and these are getting kind of old so I need to use them and I've got four of those and I've got um, lots of lots of cherry tomatoes coming. But my cherry tomatoes, one plant is coming out this big and the other one they're coming out this big and they're both really good so and I use them um, especially these in dishes like this all the time but this one is an heirloom it tastes like a tomato it's got a nice rich tomato flavor so it's gonna be perfect for avocado toast so I am going to cut this and scoop out some of the avocado um, I've got my toast in the air fryer right now and then I will take you along it's so easy you guys it takes five minutes to do this, and it's such a healthy breakfast for you, um, especially with your sprouts, so let's do this. Okay, so for avocado, all I like to do is, sometimes I cut it with my avocado cutter, but normally these are just, I wait until they're ripe enough, and then I just kinda mush them in there. So whatever you wanna do to get your avocado out and put on your toast, then you can mush it onto your toast. That's the best way. Or if you want to make some guacamole, and then put it on your toast. That's another really good way. So um, I have two, this, this is a huge, look at this, huge, huge avocado, it's as big as my hand. So I'm saving this part with the pit and I'm gonna put saran wrap on this and then put it in the refrigerator. Um, you can save your avocados this way. As long as the pit is in there and you save it with saran wrap over it really, really tightly or vacuum seal it, that avocado is gonna be perfectly fine for another four or five days in the refrigerator. Okay, so let's mash this, get the toast out and put this together. Okay, I just have to come back here and show you how easy this is to do if you've never done this right in your avocado. If it's ripe enough and it's not brown, you guys can see it's not brown at all. It's perfect, perfect, perfect. And it just, you can make your own guacamole right in your avocado skin, just like this, so easy. So tomorrow is farmer's market day, and I am going to try to get out of the house for the first time in over, gosh, almost two weeks, you guys. Oh, it's been bad. Um, I'm gonna try to get out there tomorrow and get some um, some other avocados. They have some, this is a Haas avocado, just a regular avocado that you'd find in the grocery store. Um, and we have them all over here. It has the bumpy skin. Um, and they have some, I can't remember the name of them. I always call them butter avocados, but they're not. Um, I can't remember. I'll, my memory's really not with it right now, but um, I will get one and I'll show you guys what it looks like. And it tastes really, really good. I know they're bacon avocados that they have. I'm not sure if that's the one that I'm thinking of. It has a very, very smooth skin on the outside though. And inside, the avocado is much, it's a much richer flavor than just a Haas avocado. It's amazing. If you can get your hands on one of those, do it, because they're amazing. So whenever I find a bunch of those at Farmer's Market, I usually put them in the freezer. Um, and I, I can show you guys how to do that. Hopefully I will find some beets tomorrow, because I want to can some beets. Um, the fair is coming up, so I've got all my entries down, uh, entered in the computer. I just have to get everything together now. And um, yeah, so I want, beets is one of the things that I want to enter. Uh, regular canned beets and then pickled beets. 
So I know my aspirations are super high right now. I don't know how I'm going to be feeling at the end of the month to enter these, um, but I know I'll get some entered. So um, we'll go from there. Okay, let's finish the avocado toast. I'm hungry. Okay, so I got my toast and doing this one-handed. I don't know why I don't get my tripod out, but I always remember after I start the video. Okay, let's get this on here. Okay, we're going to spread this around. And just put as much as you want on there. Now, I just buttered the bread, the, the toast, and then toasted it. But you can put mayonnaise on this, um, however you want to do it. Just don't forget the salt and pepper. That is a one key thing that you need to do. Okay, so I'm going to get the salt and pepper and put it on there. Okay, so I have all that spread out. I'm going to get some of my tomatoes. I'll start putting them on here. Okay, so I'm putting half the tomatoes. I actually have two pieces of bread. And yes, I'm just using my hands for this. Much easier right now. Okay, so put all the tomatoes on there. And then put my salt and pepper on it already. Then you're gonna take your, your uh, sprouts and you're just gonna put your sprouts on top, just like that. And I like a lot of sprouts. Now this is um, a spicy seed mix because it has some radish in it. Um, it's got broccoli. It's got all kinds of goodness in there. Um, I will put the link in my description box below um, and you guys can go and buy it for yourself. It's on sale right now. Um, it, today's the last day of Amazon Prime Day and it's linked to my Amazon. That's where I get it and it's only, I think, I wanna say 10 or $11 a, a bag and it's normally like $18. So if you can go get a bag, that bag, you guys saw how many seeds I used, very, very little to make all of this. And I put, it's in a gallon bag, you guys. Um, so that bag, if you just make seeds, your sprouted seeds through the summer and eat them on sandwiches or whatever, um, even if you're a family of three, when my son was still here, um, we were, I was still, gosh, I was still going through maybe a bag every, probably every six months. I mean, the bag lasts a long time. So, and it's really good for your food storage because you will always have fresh greens. And like I mentioned on one of the other videos when I was sprouting, these are really great to take camping with you too. Sprout some, start them in, in your uh, kitchen before you go camping and um, do the like the first two days and then take them with you and they'll be ready. And you just, you have an abundance of fresh greens. If you can't get to the store for whatever reason, you will always have fresh greens. If you don't have salad coming in in your garden, sprout some seeds. You always have some fresh greens and it's really good for you. Um, it's really nice to have something fresh, especially in the winter. Um, you, I do this all the time. And when I am not growing any lettuce for whatever reason, um, I sprout seeds. It's really good. Okay, you guys. So I'm going to do the other one and then I will take a picture and show you guys. But if you have any questions, just let me know. And like I said, the link for the bag of seeds that I use is going to be in the description box below and then you can use that link to look because they have many many other blends um, my link will take you to the blend that I use and um, there's many other different blends you don't have to get the spicy blend and this is not really spicy it just gives it a little bit of a kick a uh, lot a lot of flavor and it's the one that I have found through the years that I really really enjoy using um, so the word of the day is going to be avocado toast so comment the word of the day. It's our secret word to be entered to win some seeds. I've already given away, um, I think, four packs of seeds. I'm still waiting on people to email me. So when you comment, um, you're going to get a little key if you comment the word of the day, as long as you're subscribed to my channel. And um, I've been leaving like little messages on some of my videos and some of your comments to message me with your email, and I'm going to send you out some seeds. So that's how we're doing this for right now because I'm not doing a live or anything um, for the time being. So I'm just going to be giving away stuff like this. So, um, I'm still waiting for, I think two people to email me. I think I've heard from three. I think I've given away six, six packs already. So and they're just a little sample pack, but, um, 
I'm going to give you enough to do probably three times as much as this. So you have plenty in there. Okay, thanks for watching, you guys. Thanks for watching to the end. Um, again, comment the word of the day, the secret word, avocado toast, in the comment section below. Make sure that you're subscribed. And um, if you're not subscribed, please subscribe. It really helps my channel um, grow and helps the YouTube algorithm push my videos out there. Um, and I really appreciate that. Thank you so much, and I will see you guys soon. Okay, I just want to jump on here really quick and just show you the finished product. Let's get out of the light. Look at how amazing. So I just cut these in half and I eat them, and they are so delicious, you guys. The crispness of the sprouts and the freshness of the avocado and the tomato on um, sourdough bread is what I use is so, so good. Thanks for watching.